Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5. In the last episode, we sp spent a lot of time hanging out with Makoto, and in this episode, I said we were going to finish off our second confidant. There's only one person we have at rank 9 right now. Let's call her. Hey there. Perfect timing, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Not as your maid, but as your teacher. Could I visit LeBlanc later today? What do you want to do? Of course you can, Kawakami. Okay. Okay, I'll head over right away. Sorry I'm late. A student asked me for some advice as I was leaving. That's actually been happening a lot lately. I wonder if they see me in a new light now. Probably. I've been hearing people talk about it in the classroom. And it's really evident during your lessons as well. I need to work hard so I can make up for all the times I let my students down in the past. <laughs> Sounds like you're busy. Oh, do I sense some jealousy? <laughs> That's really cute. So, um... Now, this is coming from me as your teacher. An awful thought occurred to me the more I spent time with you. Uh-huh. And I can no longer overlook such a grave danger. You... Uh, yeah? ...are way too lax when it comes to your diet. You need to be more serious about your nutrition. Uh, I, I mean, okay, oh yes, I've been drinking a lot of coffee recently, but it's... It's to study! In the state of your room, you need to stop slacking. I mean, look at how dusty this place is. I mean, you were supposed to clean it, but uh, I mean, uh, yes, I know. I put up with the mess because you are my client, but you need to thoroughly clean in here. I will. That's what I wanted to hear. There are just some things you have to prioritize over your studies, you know? Oh yeah, there's one more thing. Oh jeez. You're a member of the Phantom Thieves, right? Uh, <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. I'm just... Yeah, why do you think that? The whole thing with Takase-kun's guardians worked out way too good for me. And you're the only one who knew about my situation. Ah. Yes. Uh, that does make me suspicious now, doesn't it? So what if I am? Hmm, well... Don't worry, I have no intention of telling anyone. There are a lot of stories about the Phantom Thieves, but in the end, they help people like me, right? Well, that's our goal. That's so you. I just thought you were a problem child with a criminal record, but now I know better. I'll support you 100%. Thank you, Kawakami. That means a lot. You're not just a student to me. You're someone special who helped me realize my path as a teacher. A new path where I'll never abandon any of my students. <laughs> I'll make sure of it. Right? For my students and for you. Thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of temperance, granting thee infinite power. Rank 10. Sadayo Kawakami. Special mas special massage. Request a massage after going into the metaverse, then you go out at night. Arguably? 
the best ability in the game that you get from any confidant. This? Oh, this is going to make my scheduling so much easier to deal with. All right. All right. You can now fuse Ada, the most powerful persona of the Temperance Arcana. Kawakami Special Massage. You can now use the phone at LeBlanc to, at night to ask Kawakami to come and give you a special massage. Kawakami Special Massage will remove exhaustion and allow you to go out at night even after venturing into a palace or mementos. Okay, let's get into it. 50 terms, go! Uh, what? I don't want you to flunk your exams. Oh. Um. I'm going to go the distance with you. Oh, jeez. I received a special lesson from Kawakami. <sighs> I grew tired of all of a sudden. <laughs> Man, what a great confidant. Honestly, one of my favorites out of any Persona game. <sighs> Maybe next time, Kawakami. Maybe it'll work out differently next time. Huh? Who could be at... Who could that be at this hour? I got some intel uh, that some weirdo's been showing up at the planetarium. Yeah, since we're finally on summer vacation, you should come and help me investigate. Oh, we have to punish that deviant and save the children of summer vacation. Let's go together tomorrow. Hmm, well, what's your plan? Do you want to go to the planetarium with Mishima? Well, if it's for a request of some kind, I guess I should, right? Sure. All right! It's the planetarium in Inkabukuro, where there have been sightings of weirdos. Uh, see you tomorrow. Good night. I wonder who those weirdos at the planetarium are. Well, no use in thinking about it. Let's get to bed. Hmm. Inkabukuro. A large district with the station at its heart surrounded by shops. Enjoy the stars, its planetarium atop a skyscraper is the ultimate spot for viewing the stars. All right. Sounds like a good romantic spot to bring someone possibly one day. Alright Mishima, let's see what you've got for us. According to my information, there should be an eccentric character around here. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at him. Apparently, he lives in his own world, totally escaping reality. I heard he even talks to himself about the mysteries of the universe and the beauty in harmony. <laughs> yep, sounds like someone I know. S someone you know? Jeez, Kaiba, you sure know a lot of different people. Oh. Oh, I think that's him. Look, he's even talking to himself. I think we hit the jackpot with this guy. Hey, wait, he's coming over here! It's you. I thought I saw a familiar face. Yep, right on cue. Hey, Yusuke, how's it going? I came to experience the mysteries of the universe. I'm glad to see you here as well. It's him, the eccentric! How rude. Who are you calling an eccentric? You haven't heard of the rumors, buddy. I am aware, though it pains me to hear it phrased so nonchalantly. Nevertheless, I expect your chosen company to be more eloquent. S sorry I, I didn't think you were Kaiba's friend. You just matched the description of the rumored eccentric, so it just slipped out. Rumored eccentric? There have been rumors about a man constantly talking to himself here, and mumbling strange things. Hmm, I see. That does seem like an odd behavior. However, can you not sense how nature's divine providence has drawn us together here? What? Yes. What? 
What I meant was... What? You might be that eccentric from the rumors after all. I'm sorry, did you say something? N n no not at all. The screening is starting soon. Why don't we take our seats? Oh, right. Now then. This rumored eccentric. I'll be sure to keep a careful watch for such a person as well. Let's leave this to him, Mishima. Yeah, I'll be counting on you? Hmm? So, uh, I guess this case is closed? Well, at least we got to see the planetarium. <laughs> uh, but he is quite the eccentric, isn't he? Now, on to the Phantom Thieves. There's still no response from the Phantom Thieves to Medjed. What do you make of this? Most likely, the Phantom Thieves simply don't have the means of confronting them. After all, Medjed is quite different from anyone they've gone up against thus far. It seems their best option is to reveal their identities before more people are needlessly harmed. I see. He really hit us where it hurts. We're going to beat them though. Hmm. It's so we'll show you a catchy. We'll show you just what we're made of. It's raining, but it's not any cooler out. Hey! Hey! Weren't you gonna ask the airsoft guy about the paper bag? I guess you mentioned that because now we have Dauntless Guts, so that's a thing that we can do. We could do that. Or we could go over to the diner because... We're not going to get... Coffee for once. Guys, it's time. I've been really looking, looking forward to this moment. I'm going to get my fruity, damn it! Look, it may be sad that I'm this excited over a imaginary oh. beverage, but I really want to know what it's like. The rain's keeping customers away. Waitress, give me my fruity. I got it. I'll be right back with your order. Wow. Fruits inside tea? They're both fine on their own, you'd think. Is your skin looking healthier and moisturized? Don't tell me that fruity's working. Hmm. <laughs> I guess it is. And instead of increasing our guts, it increases our charm. All right. Hey. It looks like your studying went well too. <laughs> this should be another extra three points. All right. Nice. There we go. Nice. I've never tried fruit and tea, gotta be honest. I think I mentioned uh, before that I'm not much of a tea slash coffee person, so... Maybe if I add fruit to tea, I'd enjoy it more. Hmm. Might be worth a go. Jesus Christ, I'm popular lately. There's a movie that won't be in theatres for much longer. I know we haven't finished dealing with Futaba yet, but I'm curious about it. It's called Like a Dragon. <sighs> Someone told me about this. Someone told me that there was a movie with a particular title that I would like. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of guessed this is where they were going with that comment, and you know what? You are absolutely right. You know, the one by that famous director? Would you maybe like to go see it together? Of course I'm gonna see this with you! Thanks. Let's meet in front of the movie theater in Shinjuku. I don't care what type of movie it is, Morgana. If it's called Like a Dragon, we're going to see it. For people who are confused why I'm so happy about this, Like a Dragon is the Japanese name for the Yakuza series. <laughs> I believe the Japanese translation is Ryuga Gotoku, which literally translates to Like a Dragon. Anyway. Sorry, I got here a bit early. I've been looking forward to this for some time, so... 
that that is a, a famous director who's responsible for this movie, uh, who wouldn't want to see it. Why are you looking at me like that? L let's go inside already. Makoto, I have a very serious question for you. Are you a secret Yakuza fan? <laughs> you try to cut ties with me, then you come back for more. I'll kill you. Boss, boss, no. That bastard shot him. Boss! Makoto's fists have been clenched this entire time. Whatever she said before about the director was probably just an excuse. She loves this stuff. I feel like I learned more about the determination that the Yakuza have! <laughs> oh man. Oh, this is awesome. Even the music fits! I'm pretty sure they couldn't use the exact same soundtrack, but I think that would be going a little bit too far. <laughs> Oh, this is great. I don't even care what we do afterwards. This was worth the entire episode. Th that wasn't too bad. Um, do you think it's weird if a girl likes movies like this? What are you talking about? This just makes you even cooler! Do you think? R really? Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I know I was saying stuff about Kawakami earlier, but no, she is the one. Makoto's the one. I don't care what anyone says. She is the one. <laughs> like, she likes Yakuza? No, that's it. We have a winner. That's it. No one else can compete. I mean, don't get me wrong, Kawakami's story was awesome, and a nice girl, Hifumi seems kind of cool, and who else? There's you probably other girls that could probably compete, but no. She is the one for me. That's it. Decision made. Let us continue. Thanks, I think this is the first time I've been told that. Sorry that I called you over so suddenly. It felt weird watching a Yakuza film all by myself. Thank you. I had fun though, thanks to you. Okay, let's start heading home. I am aware that probably it's not a direct, like, movie adaptation of the Yakuza series. Maybe it is though, there is a Yakuza live-action film that was made, so maybe we were watching that, I don't know. I'm curious to hear what the Japanese version of that scene is, because if they got like the voice actor for Kiryu to come in just to do the line, that would be actually really cool. I doubt it, but I don't know. With Atlas being known by Sedgar, it could be a thing. Oh yeah, we still have an evening. What was I supposed to be doing? We're supposed to be seeing Hifumi, that's what we're supposed to be, be doing. Uh, be back in a second. Hello there, Hifumi, how are you doing? Oh? Hifumi's talking to someone. Yeah, she seems kind of troubled. Hmm. Maybe it's something to do with her photo shoot that she had? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna talk to Hifumi? Of course, let's. Thank you for sh shaking my hand. I I'm never gonna wash it. Huh? Huh? Um, and please wash it. I, I can't believe that you're really here in a church. I read on the internet that you prayed to God for victory. I is that true? Uh, no. Can I take a selfie with you and post it online? Sorry, I've been turning down all such requests. By the way, is it true that you're trying to become a professional shogi player? Well, nothing's been... I'll be cheering for you to qualify. You'd be the first woman to surpass the third Dan League. I really believe in you. Thanks very much. Someone's very popular. Oh, good evening. Men like that approach me all the time. At first I thought you were one of them. I really must apologize for being rude to you. Um... It bothers me when people make such a big fuss over me. Considering that the priest is doing me a great favor by letting me play here. You see, he's my shogi friend. And he's very kind. He once told me that he wanted to become a professional player. 
and he doesn't laugh at my embarrassing habit when we play together. Oh. So, I did the photo shoot. I'm embarrassed just of thinking about it. Did you see it? It was called the Venus of Shodi. Well, describes you perfectly. N nonsense Please stop. Ever since I won the female shogi lead, it's been getting a lot of attention. I just figured I could contribute to the shogi world. Perhaps my mother seems to be very... Besides, my mother seems to be very happy. Whenever I win, she rejoices as if it were her own victory. <sighs> so I want to live up to the expectations she has for me. However, she has been a bit overzealous lately. She set up the interview and the photo shoot. It's as if she wants to be the manager of a celebrity. And are you having a difficult time because of it? A bit. But it's fine because it's for my mother. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I should be teaching you how to play rather than talking about my mother. Today, I'll be showing you something very practical. It's a tactic for using the reserved pawns you've taken from your opponent in a more effective way. Nevertheless, I apologize. You're such a good listener, I feel at ease speaking with you. Actually... Aside from the priest, you've actually the first person I've spoken to about my mother. Hmm. People do tell me I'm a good listener. But I'm glad to see that your trust is increasing. Uchikomi, chance for a follow-up by a backup member if Joker downs an enemy. All right. Another really good ability. God, investing in you is really worth my time. It also helps that you're a very interesting person as well. Now then, I will instruct you while we play. I look forward to it. Are you ready? My knowledge ever increases. Until next time. I respect people who get into games as much as Hifumi do. I don't know why, it just shows a certain level of passion. I guess it's because I also have that habit. <laughs> as is probably evident from my videos of LPs that I've done in the past. You guys haven't met once. Are you taking it easy because it's summer? Okay. No, I'm taking it easy because I have a grand strategy plan, Morgana. Tell everyone to meet at the hideout. Let's discuss what our next move should be. What? Well, okay, if you say so. Mm. I'm honestly surprised at the palace this time. Everywhere we looked was just desert. Oh yeah, all the other ones until now have just been normal cities outside of the distortion itself. Yep. <laughs> Thanks to that, we didn't even know where we, we were in a pal- Let me try that again. We didn't even know we were in a palace our first time going into Kamashidas. That's still part of the palace, though. The city may not have been distorted, but it was hit cognition. The palace rulers may have been criminals, but they were social enough, societal enough to know the city layout. Nice. But Futaba doesn't- probably doesn't. In fact, I bet she isn't even interested in the outside world. Hence why the whole thing is a bleak desert. Understandable considering her lifestyle. I doubt many famous criminals are shut-ins like her, though. Oh. Hopefully that means we won't have to go through all this desert business in the future. That might not necessarily be the case. Many upper-class citizens travel by limo or plane, so they don't know or care about city life. For real? A plane? Damn, that sounds pretty good. I mean, wouldn't you want to go to a palace way up in the clouds if you could? Yeah, no thanks. We had enough trouble with a bank. As Makoto's just saying. I think a flying bank is quite enough, thanks. I have to say, though, the topic of the area outside the distortion is fascinating. Fascinating. Depending on the criminal, there may be an exact replica of Tokyo within their palace. I would love to examine the aesthetics of such a strange place at least once. You don't got a damn thing but art in that head of yours, huh? Right. 
but it's true that an observant criminal would have a true reality city in their palace. Although, even if such a place did exist, it's not like we'd have any use for it. <laughs> Very true. But sorry guys, we're not going to be doing any mementos or palace dungeon crawling today. Huh? Sorry guys. <laughs> I love how we still got the place set up. That's some nice attention to detail. It could have easily just, you know, loaded back the room to how it usually looks. Anyway, what are we doing today? What are we doing today? I am looking over at my notes and we are going to go to the Shibuya Underground Walkway because it is Sunday today, which I almost didn't notice. I think it's Charm today? If I remember correctly? What do you want? Yeah, beauty. That's another 5,000. Still got 55,000 left. Alright. Now that we got our beauty, we can hang out with who we're going to hang out with today. All right. And I think we got enough time in the episode to do just that. Uh, but before we do anything, let me check to see if I have... Yes, I do. Okay, good. Yusuke, my man! It's you. Ah, Yusuke. What do you plan on doing today? I plan on hanging out with you, my eccentric Why? friend. Hmm, you are correct. A nice break is necessary at times. To be honest, I think I have found a way to pull myself out of my slump. Would you mind joining me to get in me again? No problem, dude. Let's go. Let us be off. I believe I will find what I'm looking for at the church. Let us head over there. Hmm... Our prior theme, love. It proved to be quite useful to me indeed. After our enlightening session, I once again attempted to paint. However, nothing I put on the canvas was to my satisfaction. Before the gods of art, I am naught but a lost sheep. Ah yes, lost sheep! I have come here with you for precisely that reason. Indeed. Our theme today shall be anguish! I shall paint the anguish Christ felt as he bore the sins of mankind. Certainly sounds pretentious enough for you. Hmm. Hmm. I have seen various sculptures and paintings on the matter, but merely replicating them will not do. Would any believers be willing to model and help me capture the true essence of anguish? It seems not. Well then. Very well. You say? You will have to be my model today. What? D d do you want me to strip? Ah. Yes, that must be it! That is what I need! Only a subject naked as the day they were born can convey the true anguish of birth. Now then, strip! Take it all! Actually, perhaps not. Yeah, maybe, yeah, you know, considering we're in a church. Which is a public place. Where people can see us. And maybe two guys doing that kind of thing in a church, maybe not the best idea. Being found stark naked in a church would be even bigger news than the Phantom Thieves. You got that right. Now then. Now then, let us begin. Show me a pose that will put the anguish of Christ on full display. Hmm. I see. So this would be... No, hmm, perhaps... It seems this is not working. I would like to capture anguish, yet you remain calm and composed. Even the slightest wrinkle can change one's impression of things. I shall not compromise, even for this sketch. Well, this is going to be a problem, considering I'm a, you know, pretty chill dude. Now, raise your hands higher. More. Give me more anguish. Bring it to its upper limits. Like this. Hmm, this position, so this is the passion of the Christ. This is what Mel Gibson felt. Forsaken by his disciples, adored as a criminal by the public, pierced with his nails and hung on a cross. 
I understand now. <laughs> this is the true anguish of the passion. Are you sure? I just feel like we're doing a JoJo pose. It feels as though something is boiling up within me. What, what are you children doing? Um. Uh, uh, well, this is an art study. Art. That. I am attempting to paint anguish, so I decided to use the crucifixion of Christ as a point of reference. So you're interested in the anguish of the crucifixion. Hmm. While it is true that Jesus' crucifixion on the cross is a symbol of deep suffering, it also bears a much more positive message. One of resurrection, of for for one of resurrection, of forgiveness. Resurrection? Forgiveness? I'm not sure I understand. Those ideas are contradictory to my conception of anguish. It may be difficult to grasp what I'm saying right now. But try to consider that the anguish one day may feel today, someday bring... Let me try that again. But try to consider that the anguish one may feel today will someday bring forth new hope. Ah, and by the way, I suggest you contain your excitement while here. You may trouble the congregation. So those shocking depictions were actually meant to represent forgiveness, not pain. Hmm, hope from anguish. I'm not sure I understand. I must learn more about the hearts of men. You say, do you think I will be able to capture the truth someday? Don't worry, buddy. I'm sure you will. Indeed. If I do not have the belief in my own abilities, I will never come to accomplish anything. Hmm. This is exceedingly strange, though. Spending time with you has helped me discover new aspects of myself. You are perhaps a mirror of sorts. I'm in your debt. If there is anything I can do in return, please let me know. I wish to repay your kindness. Man. Hanging out with you is a real journey, dude. But it's always extremely fun. Adept duplication. You stay uh, allows you stay to use blank cards to duplicate mid-rank skill cards. All right. Nice. Hmm. Let us return home for today. I bid you farewell. Farewell. Wonderful. See you. Note to self: Show you stay JoJo's bizarre adventure. God, he would love that show. So what's going on? I haven't heard any developments. Medjet hasn't taken any action either. I heard some company's private data got leaked or something. Did Medjet do that? Ah, oh, the Phantom Thief sitting on their hands. Do something. Uh, the public's ga getting impatient, because of course they are. Man, it's hot. Another scorcher. Can't we catch a break? Hey, I heard some company's info got leaked. Yes, it seems the private dealings of a large corporation were publicly disclosed. It's caused quite the stir. People are wondering if Medjet is behind it. Hmm. Do you think it was Medjet? I would think not. This seems to be just a minor thing. Quite different from what Medjet has done up until now. Hmm, is that so? So it wasn't Medjet? Ah, damn, that shit freaked me out! It's honestly kind of hard not having a knee-jerk reaction to this stuff nowadays. Sometimes people react to these situations by pleading for help from the Phantom Thieves. We need to find a way to stand up for them. Hey, weren't you gonna ask the airsoft guy about the paperback? Yes, don't worry, Morgana, we'll get to it. <sighs> you better be careful, Morgana. You're reaching Navi levels of reminding me basic things that I need to do, but you actually have character, so I still like you. Anyway, this is actually going to be it for this episode. It has been quite a journey, and I think I have made some very important decisions in my head about some things in the future. I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. Anyway, 
If you liked this episode, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. And on the next episode of Let's Play Persona 5, we'll continue with our dealings with our social life. See you guys then.